Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be looking into Affinity Photo on the iPad, and in particular, we're going to focus on making a new document, importing photos into it, saving and exporting. So let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, let's go into Affinity Photo. When the app loads up, you will see all your previous projects and documents that you've been working on. To start a new document, hit the plus symbol. We're going to have a new document. We're going to import things from the clipboard, from templates, from cloud stories, from various means. I'm going to click into a new document. There's photo, under photo, there's different presets. Web devices, print. If I go to web and select full HD and click OK, the new document opens up. If I pinch, pinch in, it zooms out. And if I pinch in, it zooms in to the document. So first of all, I'm just going to import something into this document. There's many ways you can do this. If I bring up Google Chrome, I've got the Ghostbusters Afterlife posters. I've got the Ghostbuster Lego figures here. So that's what kind of has inspired this here. If I hold down Copy. I mean, this is just one of the ways you can import. So if I go into Affinity Photo and hold one finger down, paste, and my poster is pasted in. If I use the arrow move tool, I can rotate. If I click one finger down, it will do it in increments of 15 degrees. And if I pinch or if I twist, it will actually rotate the full canvas. And just by moving, I will shrink that and put that in the middle. You can see I've cut off some of the document here. It's okay, apart from some of these wee things I cut down. There's another way to import into Affinity Photo. If I go back to my web browser and save this, save image, Go into Affinity Photo. If I bring the Photos app to the side, you'll see the photo has been downloaded. If I click on this, drag it anywhere into Affinity Photo, it will automatically bring it into Affinity Photo with the file name and the correct size. If I just swipe that out, click into it, and then that is the canvas is the exact size as the poster. If I click on the Move tool, you can see the exact same size. One way is by New Document and pasting it in from Chrome. Another way is dragging it into Photos. If I go to Slimer here, let's see where Slimer is. Here we are. Hold down, Copy Image. Again, one finger and paste. We now have Slimer on our photo, on our poster. And just by using the corner corners, you can scale it up. So I have placed Slimer in the poster. I think it looks okay. Now it is a wee bit rough down here. I would probably clean that up. We'll not worry about it at the minute. We'll pretend that we've maybe used the pen tool and or the eraser tool and clean that up. If you want to save an Affinity Photo, just hit the home button, which is this arrow, and that automatically saves on the iPad. If we want to rename this, we simply go to rename. We'll go to Ghostbusters poster. And it's been renamed. If you want to change the default save location from the iPad to, say, your iCloud drive, simply go to Preferences, go to Default Save Location, change it to iCloud Drive, and click Done. Now, when you save it or just exit out of a document, it will automatically save to the iCloud drive. If we want to export it, simply go up to the Document tool, hit Export, we can save it as JPEG, we can save it as PSD, so you can open it on Photoshop on the iPad or Photoshop on the desktop. In this case, I'm going to go to JPEG. I'm happy with the width, the quality, the name. Yep, best quality. Click OK. It's going to ask me where to save it to. I want to save it on my iPad. You can save it in different folders. 
I'm just happy with the top level and we can save it there. Another way of saving it or exporting it, document menu, export, down to the share button. And from here, we can click on, say if I want to put it in my MacBook or airdrop it somewhere else, photos, Chrome, Twitter, or whatever. I will just send it to my MacBook and away it is on my MacBook Pro. So currently this here document is saved on the iPad Pro. If I want to save it somewhere else, I can go up to the document menu, save a copy, save history, file name. I will save it and it will give me a few options. I can save it to Dropbox and it's going to be saved as an Affinity Photo document. And then that just means it's backed up to Dropbox. So there you go. Hopefully you learned something more about Affinity Photo on the iPad. Please feel free to give this video a like. Please subscribe. There's going to be more videos coming out like this, showing you more tools into Affinity Photo on the iPad. And if there's anything you would like to learn Affinity Photo, again, just leave a comment and I'll look forward to reading that and maybe do that in a future video. Until the next time, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've learned something. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.